afternoon everybody, it's Friday! It is the last Friday of January 2021. It's been an okay week, but it's been a very long month, so I'm very glad that it is coming to an end. It's been an incredibly slow start today. I've uh, woken up not feeling 100%, which sucks. I'm not due my regularly scheduled monthly illness for another few days, so I was very thrown. <laughs> Last night I woke up at about 3 in the morning, feeling very very hot and just aching all over. So I kind of got out of bed to get a flannel and then I just felt really weak and floppy. I've talked about this a couple of times on the vlogs before I think. Sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night, like between 3 and 6 in the morning, I get like, I'm the type of person who needs to eat breakfast first thing. <laughs> I'm not a person who can skip breakfast, so when I'm awake at three in the morning and it gets to like half three and I'm still awake, my body starts going like, why are we not eating breakfast right now? And I have to be like, well, it's because it's the middle of the night, body, so we've got to go back to sleep. And I have to go through this cycle of feeling super duper starving and hungry and weak and floppy and I'm waiting for that to fade before I can actually go back to sleep again. So that's what happened. Ended up going back to sleep about half five-ish, I think just before. The alarm went off at six because Chris is going to work early this week. So I was awake again until like seven-ish when I managed to go back to sleep. I changed my alarm from 7.30 to 8.30 for the sake of giving myself a lay-in to catch up from the sleep that I missed. And I ended up snoozing that alarm, sleeping between the alarms until like 9.40. Just not good. So yeah, bit of a crazy morning. And this one, Happy to jump on my face when it's 5 in the morning, but when it's 9.30 and I've got to get up, you're just cuddling up next to me. Slippers. you got to put your annoying need to wake everyone up to use. Silly. So yeah, I've been taking it really easy this morning. I woke up feeling a lot better. I was just a bit achy still. I've had some paracetamol. I feel a bit better now that I've washed and all that kind of stuff. But I'm still a little... I'm going to... I'm gonna take it easy, I'm a little fragile, still, today. No idea what it is, probably nothing as per usual. I haven't done any uni work yet, it's just coming up to 12.30. I'm gonna sit down and do my lecture, uh, it was uploaded late last night. <laughs> if you watched yesterday's vlog, my tutor is supposed to upload the lecture a week in advance. She uploaded it last night. That's sad. It's great. So yeah, did doing that this morning. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna rest a bit. Hopefully I'll be alright. I don't know what's wrong with me, I'll open my window. Get a bit of fresh air on It's chilly there. But yeah. That's the sitch. It's Friday morning. It's the last day of the week. We can do this, slippers. We can do it. You sleepy girl. Did you, have you been asleep all, all afternoon, only to literally just get up and give me the saddest meow I've ever heard in my entire life? <laughs> I was just on my laptop, she was asleep beside me, she's been asleep since I last spoke to you, which was a few hours ago. She's not moved. And I just, I feel her getting up and stretching and I just hear... the softest, highest kitten meow I've ever heard. I know I call you a kitten, but you're an old lady cat. That was way too sweet and innocent. She's so cute. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a bit later. Did my lecture. It was all good. It was all good. Feeling alright about it. Feeling a little bit better than I was this morning. I'm still a little... I'm tired. I'm tired is what I am. I'm a little bit fragile in the illness sense, but really it's basically just being tired at this point. I'm just sleepy. Oh, you just dribbled on me. <laughs> it's been a relatively slow afternoon. I did my lecture. Near the laundry, had my lunch. And this little one getting up made me remember I hadn't vlogged yet today. Since this morning, huh? Thank you for reminding me. She's very cuddly. You've just been asleep all day, haven't you? Yeah. 
this is just this is what my afternoon consists of when I've finished all my uni work. I just cuddle, cuddle a little floof. That's you. Yeah. She's so sweet. Anyways, this will be home soon, I think. I'm very tired. I'm looking forward to an early night. <laughs> huh? Are you looking forward to an early night? I don't think so. You're going to be bouncing off the walls since you've been asleep all bloody afternoon, aren't you? Mm -hmm. She's a happy girl. And assumed position. Very good. Evening, everybody. It's a little bit later. I'm feeling... I don't know. I'm not feeling sick, I'm just feeling very tired. And a bit... weird in the head. If that makes sense. A little heavy-headed. I don't know what it is. Hopefully we'll be gone... overnight. Hopefully. I'm gonna take some paracetamol before I go to bed. That reminds me I need to go. Grab some more from the cupboard because I used my last one this morning. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. Chris came home, um, did some more surveys, <laughs> fun stuff. I did very well today. Normally I get disqualified from the offset, which only gets you one point. But um, I've developed a little routine and I actually ended up getting a lot of surveys today. Why is there so much crap? It Look at this boy. He comes home and he dumps everything everywhere bloody typical isn't it? anyways, just been cool down for dinner gonna go have some dinner hopefully have a slow relaxed evening we can hope I'm gonna look at you oh no she's up she's up it's the first time she's moved in a couple hours go for a stretch Oh, yeah. Nice that's... big stretch. So, what do I do, George? Do I... Oh, do I book a driving voucher? I would say no, because I don't think you're allowed. It's, it would be like for this year, though. It would be for eight hours. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess so. Because it's not that expensive. But... Do you want to explain to the camera the situation? So... There's this place near us that does like driving experiences in like Ferraris and Lamborghinis. And for today only, they're having a 50% off sale. So we get to drive a Lamborghini for like, I think it's like £29 or something. And you get like three laps around. So it's only 60 quid normally. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the email because they did send me an email this morning. I woke up that at like sounds 6 sketchy. in the morning. Well, they have it all the time. I think they're. Starting to run out of money. I guess they are, they given the up. situation. Yeah, they need to upkeep all these like amazing luxury cars and they don't have any income. I mean, as long as it's not for any time soon, because I don't think that kind of stuff is going to be allowed until at least late summer. I lie, it's £34.50. I mean, that's not that much if it ends up getting cancelled for whatever reason. So you might as well. Go for it. Do it. Treat yourself. Treat your future self. Or double supercar driving experience for forty nine pounds. What, what what does that involve? Well, double the laps, double yes. the cars. Double the cars. You get one car for thirty five, or two for fifty. So like what? Three laps of two cars? Or? Yeah. So okay. you get three laps in one car. You get three laps in two cars. Yeah. Just piecing together the, the terminology. I don't know, lads. I reckon just do it because. Should I go for two? Make a day out of it? <laughs> Save an extra £15. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it for myself. I'm gonna do it. Don't. I would say book it for like. late September. Well, I think you buy the voucher and then. You can use it any time in the year. year. Triple supercar. Oh, fuck this. £75. No. See, that's why we're starting to spend too much money on something best that might not happen. Best of the happen. best, £200. No. 
The year is too unpredictable to spend that much money. Well, I think you get a refund if you can't actually do it. That's still a very expensive day out. 75 I would say would be max. And I see, last time I went, which was a few years ago to be fair, but last time I went they did have an Aston Martin DBS, which is probably my second favourite car of all time. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I would give a lot of money to drive one of those. Okay. We're going to leave Chris to make this gonna difficult gonna car decision. Gonna 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 He's going to do it. He's going to do, do, do it right now. I'm going to do it. Anyways, I am absolutely shattered. Um, I have no idea what happened to me last night or throughout the whole of today. I'm just feeling a bit rubbish. But not like... I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling off. Yeah. I've been feeling off these last few days. I don't know. I feel like I'm really hot. But are you get out of bed, go to the bathroom, have to come back and lay down halfway through going to the bathroom because you feel a bit too weak to stand up anymore? Do you remember that last night? Or were you half asleep? Is that when? You went into the bathroom, came back, and then just laid on the bed. Yeah. Not in bed, you just laid I laid, on like, the on bed. the foot of the bed and kind of curled up a bit. Yeah. I was suddenly, like I, I was like, I went to the bathroom, I was like, I need to go get a flannel, and then I was suddenly like, I need to not be standing for the next few seconds, one moment. And then came back and just laid at the foot of the bed for yeah, a minute. I think I was awake. Yeah, because you were like, you all right? <laughs> I was yeah. like, I was like, yeah, I'm just overheated, I'm a bit floppy, and you were like, oh, okay. And then you played on your phone for a bit, and I got up and got a flannel. But that was it, and then I woke up this morning just... I'm a little... I'm just... I'm a little achy and a little warm. Got some paracetamol for tonight, though. It'll be all good. Right, it's rain. Hard slippers. Where's she gone? Slippers! Is she in her box? She's just naive. Hi, beautiful. Anywho, we are going to end the vlog here. Oh, hi. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow. Nice lips. Wow. And you're gonna come sit with me. I'm confused as to why I'm sat on the floor. I don't know why I'm sat on the floor, to be honest. I was giving you a cuddle. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're so cute. Say night, Chris. No. No.